Shh, we're going, Jay. We're going around the racetrack. Run. Daddy enjoys it. Very glorified. The end. Is this the pit? Yes. We're in the pit. People watching. And it's go, 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 go. Idiot, please. None of those are going around the corner like that. Do you like? Why is it not talking? We sit there, Daddy. No, we sit at the top. Since then, the Craner curves are among the most iconic sections of the track in world motorsport. The original hairpin bend Nick, was about come 55 on. meters further away. You know what you're doing. The current corner and was the scene for frequent thrills and spills in the That's 1930s. That's where we like to sit, Els. See those archways to the left? The cars and bikes actually raced through one of these in the 1930s. There was no way the modern circuit constructed in the 1970s could do this, so a new section of the track was built by Tom Wheatcroft to avoid that problem, especially as a current supercar blasts through here at 140 miles per hour. This is quite steep. It was another motorcycling legend that came unstuck here in wet conditions in 2009 as Valentino Rossi threw away victory in the MotoGP British Grand Prix, handing a surprise maiden win to Andrea Davizioso. Ayrton Senna's famous lap of the gods was completed here in the 1993 Grand Prix with an overtake on his arch-rival Alain Prost at the end of the first lap in soaking wet conditions. This part of the circuit was added in time for the 1986 season, bringing the track up to the required length for the Grand Prix motorcycle racing. Blaine! Blaine! That's a birdie baby! Blaine! Look okay, at Blaine! Another heartbreaking point. It was on the exit of this corner that Nigel Mansell collided with future F1 champion Fernando Alonso in the only two-seater Formula One car race known to have been held. What? Uh, what, about 
two miles. So it's about like. Oh, smile for the camera. Did we get a picture? Yes, I think it's a If you can look to the left on the approach to the corner, you may spot a gate, and it's through here that the old circuit joins the new. Redgate in its old form was a sweeping right-hander, but the modern version is much tighter. This corner is notorious for cats. Nigel Mansell had a famous and sizable shunt in the 1993 BTCC TOCA shootout. His Ford Mondeo got out of shape exiting the old hairpin, collided with Tiff Nadell's car and shot across the grass on the left, and collided with the wall directly under the bridge at around 120 miles per hour. Ouch. The original Donington Park layout continued on for quite a way past this point, going through what is now the Formula E complex and towards Melbourne, before turning back on itself and returning to the current paddock area. The 1930s cars were capable of reaching speeds of over 170 miles per hour at this point. named after Wheatcroft's friend Jumbo Goddard, who at the time of the circuit's reopening in 1977 owned the fastest Bentley in the world. A superbike will take this corner with a lean angle of 44 degrees, drop to 34 miles per hour and then blast onto the power on exit as another lap of Donington Park is completed. And now you know more about the history of Donington Park circuit. We'll leave you in peace for your final lap so you can take everything in. Remember to visit donnington-park.co.uk for latest news and information and to follow our social media pages for updates. Thank you for coming and enjoy the last part of Drive. Why do you keep doing the racing lines? It's irritating. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the racing line. I'll do this instead. Nicholas! JJ, can see a plane in the sky. See it? You see the plane? 